All right. Hey, I'm here today to make sure and let you know about Low Fruits Black Friday sale. You can get 40% off pay as you go credits for keyword research with Low Fruits. We've got four days, 13 hours, and 57 minutes left on this Black Friday sale. Low Fruits is a great tool for finding low competition keywords, and I'll show you how it works here in just a second. Let's go a little bit deeper into the pricing page. So typically with pay-as-you-go credits, every time you analyze a keyword that will expend a credit, some searches expend credits, etc. So I really like pay-as-you-go. I probably bought 4,000 credits last year, uh, and I really didn't go through them that quickly. Now, if you have multiple domains and multiple niches that you're finding keywords for, you'll probably go through them faster than I do. Uh, but it is a really good deal. You'll notice here, normally 2,000 credits, $25. It's now 15 Here's the other thing that I'll mention as well, along with the pricing. There are some other tools in Low Fruits that you can get in an annual subscription that you don't get access to when you use pay-as-you-go credits. So if you buy an annual subscription, annual subscriptions are also at 40% off. If you have multiple domains, multiple niches, you're looking for lots of keywords, you get 3,000 credits per month, and you also get access to some other tools. So here's what a Low Fruits report looks like. If you've never seen Low Fruits before, when you go to the link in the video description, I also have a discount code. If you're a brand new Low Fruits user, try my discount code for an additional 10% off. I tried it, and because I'm currently a Low Fruits subscriber, I didn't get the 10, extra 10% off. But if you're a brand new Low Fruits user, you've, you don't have an account, you've never used it before, try my discount code as well, because I want you to get that extra 10% off if you can to make it 50% off. If you try it, if you're a brand new Low Fruits user and you try my link and you try my discount code and it works for you, just leave a comment in the comment section, let everybody else know. So here we go, let's take a look at a report. I did a report on stillwater fly fishing. I wanted to see what kind of keywords were available that were low competition. And this is what Low Fruits returned for me. For instance, like winter stillwater trout flies. The more fruits you see, these are little fruit icons. The more fruits you see, the less competition there is for this keyword. And then another cool thing you can do is you can see what the domain authorities are of those other sites that you're going to compete against. So for example, position one, it's a DA16 site, a DA18 site. And when I do key keyword research, I only have low fruits return low competition keywords for sites that are DA20 or less. So here's another one. This is right at the extreme end, DA20, and then a DA10. Here we go, a, D, a position two for Stillwater Fly Fishing Boat, another DA20, DA19 in position two. So it tells you the position of the website, and it also tells you what its domain authority is. So one thing that I like to do with low fruits is sometimes I'll go into chat GPT and I'll get some ideas for some niches. You can also use low fruits for niche research because just think about it. If you are going to write about a specific niche, what you want to do is you want to try and make sure that you have keywords that you can possibly rank for. So in chat GPT, I just did a quick prompt and I saw something that looked interesting, luxury camping. Let's just jump into Low Fruits and show you how to go through the process from scratch. Let me go to my dashboard. Here we are, we're in the keyword finder. We're going to do a search for luxury camping. So I want to know if there's any low competition keywords that I could possibly rank for in the luxury camping niche. Now what's this advanced toggle for? If you 
click on the advanced toggle. You can exclude words like Reddit, Quora forum. I typically do that. You can include words if you want to. Now, I typically leave all this stuff at default, but here's why I mentioned earlier that I was seeing only low competition keywords from sites that were DA20 or less, and that's because I've got this max domain authority of 20 in here. If you have a high domain authority, you could put in your domain and then you'll see stuff for domains that are lower domain authority than you. I don't suggest doing that if you're brand new because you have no domain authority. But in this case, we're going to go with a max DA of 20. That's who we want to try to compete against. If you're a new domain, you don't want to go any higher than 20. They have some custom weak spots here. If you know some domains that you want to highlight that you think that you could outrank, you could add those. Now, typically, I just leave everything at default. Just turn that off. So luxury camping, let's do our search. So it's extracting the long tail keywords from Google Autocomplete. Usually takes maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds for this to occur. So it's returned 1,161 keyword ideas around luxury camping. So here's a couple ways you could go. You could access every keyword idea and have Low Fruits analyze it and then return a report for you. Now that's going to use 242 credits. I don't do this. Typically what I'll do is I'll click access and then I'll go here and I'll go in and I'll just look at these and I'll pick some of the different keywords here that I think that I'd want to write an article for. This is why I would go through and just take a look at all these different titles and only pick out the ones that I'm interested to see if I could possibly rank for. So for instance, let's try most luxurious camping chair. We'll try what is posh camping, what is fancy camping. And then I'm going to go through here. I'm going to pick maybe 10 or 15 that I think that I would possibly write articles for and we'll see if they're low competition keywords or not. All right, so I've selected 39 keywords to analyze. So every time you analyze a keyword, that is a credit. So let's go ahead, do this, hit SERP extraction, and then go back to page one. That's where it's going to be doing this analysis. And here we go. I went ahead and, you know, picked these 39. Now, right off the bat, it makes me think I want to do a luxury camping niche because there are a lot of different keywords here that don't have much competition. And what I found lately when I'm searching for new niches to write about, you know, blogging's been going on for quite a while and it can be very difficult to find keywords that are low competition and something that you can rank for when you're a new domain. So for instance, bubble tent picnic, I have no idea what that is, but it has something to do with luxury camping. And look at this, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six fruit icons here. The more fruit icons you see, the less competition you're going to find, the easier it's going to be to rank for this keyword. And here's why. So position one in Google, DA5. Position two is a DA1. A well-written article on this could probably put you on page one of Google, a, a DA9, a DA1 in position four. I mean, this is just a keyword that's ripe for you to come in write an article and steal page one from somebody. Glamping tents for sale. I thought this one for sure would have competition and it doesn't. So here you go. Go in, go ahead, take advantage of this. I just found you a niche. <laughs> and, you know, it's not always going to be this easy with low fruits, but my point is, if you already have a niche and you need low competition keywords or you're doing some niche research, this is why the tool becomes very valuable. Now, there are some things that you can get with a subscription that you do not get with just the pay-as-you-go keywords like I'm showing you here. One of the subscription items is the Explorer. So the Explorer helps you find low authority, high traffic websites in your niche and you can analyze competitor strategies and uncover keyword opportunities. So that's part of a subscription, not pay as you go. Another tool would be the extract tool, bulk keyword import. 
You can save time and effort. You can upload like a list of keywords and pull them in to Low Fruits and organize them. And then there's a tracker so you can track your keywords, you know, monitor keyword rankings and competitor strategies across search engines and devices. So again, I really uh, suggest Low Fruits. It's been a tool I've been using a long time. I have multiple videos on Low Fruits on my channel if you want to see uh, more of the tool in action. But I just wanted to make sure that you knew about the Black Friday sale. I never got an email on it, and I'm a subscriber to the tool. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew it was going on. I love this time of year. It's the best time to buy software subscriptions and buy software services because of the Black Friday sales that are going on. Again, link in the description. If you're a brand new user for Low Fruits, you've never purchased the tool before, you don't have an account, uh, look at my discount code, give that a try. It might get you another 10% off. So I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, take care.